I'm Sharda Prasad. I'm a faculty at uh, the School of Development at Azim Premji University. I teach uh, courses like uh, theories and histories of development, ecology and development, social science research methods. So broadly, I'm a social scientist, but I teach courses more related to development and social science research methods. So my research is uh, very much uh, related to uh, sanitation work and access. So when it came to my doctoral research, as I said, my focus was very much on understanding what happens to fecal sludge, like what happens to septic tanks once they fill up, because uh, India doesn't have the necessary infrastructure to actually treat fecal sludge. So for almost two and a half years, I followed around these truck operators and I wanted to understand the whole ecosystem of fecal sludge management in urban India. And uh, during that time, I also got to know how farmers are interested in reusing fecal sludge in agriculture. So that was my doctoral research. And since then, uh, I have continued to focus more on sanitation, but I have shifted more towards uh, inequities that actually arise because of presence of sanitation, because the focus has been very much on absence of sanitation, but presence of sanitation can also lead to a lot of inequity. So that is my another project. And I also use photography as a way to communicate a part of my research. So in that sense, I have been working on several photo essays and I also teach workshops related to photo essays at APU to help my students um, use photography as a medium to communicate and as a tool of outreach. I engage with uh, students in multiple ways. So when it comes to the class where I teach, something like theories and histories of development is such an important class, I believe, because uh, that gives students a sense of what exactly ha is happening in this country, because you mostly see economic development and on, a, on the other end, you see all these social and political struggles. So in that sense, I use classroom teaching as a way to deconstruct and unpack what is happening around them. But on the other end, as a way to take some actions, as a way to tell their own stories, I actually use photography and engage them in coming up with really strong narratives. So these days we take a lot of pictures, but we rarely tell strong stories. So that's how I actually involve them. My students are young, of course, they are all in their early 20s and maybe mid 20s uh, for that matter. When they go out, I want them to look at the world with a much more nuanced understanding instead of just looking at something as good or bad or you know, black and white as I pointed out, but thinking about how complex different layers of societies are and also constantly questioning the overall history of whatever they are seeing, you know, like we all have, we all are products of our history, our background. So that's what I, I really want them to take with them and work with it.